What's up, y'all? How you doing? This your boy Dog from EBF Academy by English Black Friday. And guess what? We're gonna go back to some street expressions. You know, Black English. You know how much I love the culture. You know how much I love it. You ready for that? Let's make it happen. Let's go. All right, so I've taken notes of some expressions in here, and I'm gonna start with the first one, which is the word ghost. So ghost, you just go like this, man, ghost. I know ghost, man, the, the ghost. Like I've watched the movie Ghost uh, with Demi Moore and I know what a ghost is. You know, they scare us. Well, ghost can also be a verb. Let's say that you're texting someone, you're having a conversation with a girl and then out of the blue, she stops sending messages back. She stops replying to your messages. She ghosted you. Exactly. Ghost é fantasma, né? E fantasmas, eles desaparecem, aparecem. If somebody ghosted you, that means a pessoa te deixou no vácuo. That's how the expression goes. The person disappeared. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, the next expression is period. Period can be like the girl's period, but period is also the period at a sentence. Let's say that you write the sentence, you say, I'm going to work tomorrow, period. But period is also used when you say like, no discussion, no doubt. I'm not gonna change my mind. For example, I know that Neymar is a very good player, period. There's nothing to discuss. Even though Natalie in the back, she's going, eh. Hi, hi. Uh, man, she, she doesn't know anything about soccer, <laughs> period. Well, the next one here is the word facts, facts, but it's pronounced facts, facts. Well, we usually say facts when you're telling the truth. For example, when I come around here and say, well, Messi is the best soccer player in the world, facts. Facts means that's the truth. I mean, that's the truth. There's nothing we can do about that, facts. Well, actually, this one leads me to another expression, which is the expression, no cap. No cap means no lie. I'm not lying. Messi is the best one in the world. No cap. That means no lie. I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you the truth. And the opposite is cap. So if somebody tells you something like this, man, you know what? I went to Sao Paulo and I don't know if you've seen this, but I was driving a Ferrari. I was like, mm. I didn't see you driving a Ferrari. I saw you sitting in a Ferrari, but I didn't see you driving. Cap. Cap means lie. You're lying. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, this next expression here is an expression that, you know, I like the expression, but I hate it when people do that to others. Is when people walk all over someone. For example, I have a girlfriend, right? Well, she's really cool and everything. She's nice to me. She helps me. She's behind the camera right now working. And it's, you know, Friday, right? English Black Friday. So, I mean, she's here working and all that, but man, I used to have a girlfriend back in the day, man. That was a different girl, man. Oh, look at that. Natalie is looking at me like, used to have a girlfriend? You told me you were virgin. <laughs> I didn't tell you that. Man, but my ex-girlfriend, man, she walked all over me, man. That means that she humiliated me. So when you walk all over someone, that means that you humiliate that person. You dehumanize that person. That's what that means. That's crazy, man. Don't walk all over anyone, okay? This is not cool. But you know, man, even though my ex-girlfriend walked all over me, you know, God was really nice to me and said, man, don't worry about it. I'm going to hook you up with this lady, all right? She cool. She got, oh, she's, oh boy, she bad. She's really bad. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Look at this, man. This expression here. I got it on the phone because it's one of my favorite expressions. And look at this, something hits different. When I'm talking about this girl, I mean, she, she is better than all the usual girls around there, man. Something hits different. You know, something inside of me is different. That's why I proposed to her. That's why I popped the question. That's why I'm gonna marry her face. Just the face? But two. Ooh, <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at this. If something hits different, that means that something mm, mm, is better than usual. It's so good. Mm. 
I'm gonna get you to the next one. And by the way, you know why I love her so much like this? I'm gonna tell you why. But before I'm gonna tell you why, hit this button here. Like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And then you hit this bell down below so that you can receive all the notifications whenever new videos come out, okay? And now let me know here in the comments, which of this slang terms is your favorite? All right, so this one here is, you know why I love this girl so much? Because she has drip. She got drip. You know what that means? That means that she has a nice style. Mm -hmm. She looks good. She dresses, you know, mm. I like the fit. I like everything about her. You know, she has drip and she's dripping that swag all over the place. Hey, if you come around my house, you're going to need a mop. All right, y'all. So this is it for today. I really do hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I have making this video. It was fun. You know, I always love talking about, you know, different expressions, different slang terms. You know, I love black English. You know, I love all this black American culture. You know, this is interesting and this makes me feel really happy. So thank you very much for being here with me. I hope you guys have learned. I'll see you then in the next one. Bye.